I really cannot believe what I just saw. I'm about to start recording this video, and there is a good-sized level 7 albino cape buffalo. I don't know what keeps drawing me to Verhunga right now, but I'm so glad whatever it is continues to do it, because that is an animal I've wanted for so long. We just killed the Bighorns Diamond Cape Buffalo, and quite honestly, I think this is going to replace it in the multi-mount. My whole intro just went out the window. <laughs> I was planning on talking about how for the past week I was kind of sick, so I wasn't recording like proper videos like I'm doing right now. Uh, I was kind of just grinding the game a lot. We got a lot of stuff, but they weren't like normal videos. I was sort of just recording clips when I'd find good animals, but let's go ahead and get this guy because we're getting charged when he lifts his head. Hopefully we got a lung. Yeah, we did. So that's going to be a gold albino. We'll just get that dude out of our way. What in the world? <laughs> I don't know. That is so cool, though. I think I saw him go down. Yeah, I see him laying right there. It's just been this thing where I guess I'm not hunting Leighton a lot. I do want a diamond moose. I'd like another diamond whitetail. I kind of want to do the huddle uh, whitetail multi-mount because that room where it's like the back room uh, where we have most of our multi-mounts. I feel like I want to do that whitetail multi-mount, but I've just really been feeling for hunger lately. And that is one of the last things I really wanted was a rare or another Bighorn Cape Buffalo. And quite honestly, I think I prefer the rare. That's so cool. And he's like a good size one. The only two rare Cape Buffalo I've killed in the past were both the cystic females. This one's going to look way, way better. God, that bright white on a Cape Buffalo looks so cool. I've never seen it. And like, just immediately, as I was kind of like walking out of the lodge, getting ready to do this video, I saw that white and I just knew what I was looking at, but I can't believe it's a good sized uh, male. 136 trophy rating. So cool. Now I'm running into a bush and I can't get the proper screenshot without the branches in the background, but we'll get that taxidermized. Doesn't really matter if we kill anything else this entire video. I'm good. That's like, just made my entire day. But, I think I just hit him in the skull twice. I was trying to get the brain. If we can get this guy to chill. Just like that. We can continue. Now, I don't know how much point there is continuing hunting Cape Buffalo, because kind of in the last couple of days got everything I ever wanted for them, but we'll go check down here, too. That's almost fitting in a way. A different fur type, a different uh, horn shape, different weight estimate, different score estimate, but another level 7, and we might as well get that, and then I think we're probably going to try to look for Gemsbuck and Wildebeest for a little bit. And then maybe we'll see if we can get lucky and get a rare lion in the same server as a rare Cape Buffalo, which seems pretty unlikely, but... I've actually started doing that with the Cape Buffalo. I've started going for, like, quartering and frontal heart shots. I never could figure out quite how to do it, but recently I've been a little more successful. But anyway, uh, we have a lot of those kind of, like, medium size uh, wall plaques available. So, like, Gemsbuck, be stuff that size would be perfect, and we have, like, tons of room for them. Well, that's not too bad. Another gold K buffalo, brown color. And, yeah, let's do the... I think we'll check for Gemsbuck, because it looks like this server, that area for Wildebeest has been hunted. So we're going to go down here, and I don't know if I've showed this spot in a video, but I'll show it now, because it's one of my favorites. But basically, I'll come down to this lookout point here, because you can kind of just see everything. And without fail, there's always a ton of Gemsbuck in their feed time. Their feed time's 8 to 1400, so there's a huge window to do that. And I think if you come around 12, Wildebees must rest, like, down there somewhere. And they usually come across where you can see them as well. It's a really good spot, especially then, because I'll actually wait for the Cape Buffalo, which are down in here drinking, to walk up out. Because they feed back there behind us. It's a really, really good spot, so if you don't come here... Uh, on your own map or in multiplayer or whatever, it's a really, really good one to check out, but none of these are all that special. I think we'll probably just get that guy because he's nice and broadside. Then we'll go down there and see what else we can run into. 
but that was quite effective. Wait, I didn't realize there was a higher estimate one there. I also don't know why, like, none of them seem to care that I shot. But we'll get that one too. This first one dropped, I think that's... Yeah, probably the hitbox being a little bit odd for the spinal cord, because I'd say we're pretty well below it. And then the other one we definitely just double lunged, but he only went like 100 meters, I think. Probably not even that, I mean, for as far as the shot was, he definitely did not make it very far. He might actually be able to get some Cape Buffalo to either flee or potentially charge us while we're down this far. He's barely into that estimate, too. He was 307 to 358, and he's 307.3. So go figure, but yeah, we'll kind of run down along here. I think we're going to go over to this lake because we'll be rest, I think, between here and there. So if we can run into any of them and anything else, we can run into along the way as well, I guess. I mean, there's a single female will be resting over here. And if nothing else, it was an effective way of killing a bunch of time and getting us close to lie and drink time. But I was pretty sure we could find more than that. The wind is bad. Yeah, almost spooked her. Hopefully she'll just turn back this way. I think she will, but if she gets too far back into the brush, I'm not going to be able to get a shot anyway. That may have been too far forward. I think I got her. Just barely caught like a edge of the lung, but it works. And we're like... If I could get my hunter made out. Like 10 minutes in game from lion starting to drink, so I'll probably just run around a little bit and then start checking some lion lakes. There's a herd of wildebeest finally. So trying to spot to see if there's anything good in there is difficult. One nice thing is this only works on PC, but you can hold down E or the spotting button and you can actually just continue spotting like anything that goes past your reticle essentially. Now there was a potential diamond four in there. That was the best thing I saw. Man, I don't know. I think what we're gonna do is actually fast travel up here. And that's gonna give us a much better view and probably more time to actually get a shot off because we might as well try to get him. But they're coming around that end over there. And as long as they continue where they were going, I think we'll get a chance to look at him. Oh, they're already all, all the way over here. That's the one right there. Okay, so that's like 370 meters. But, we're gonna try it. I feel like we nailed that. Yeah, he's dying, so should be good. Now, I didn't get a great look at everything. So, I'll probably try to spot again before they all get out of view. But that went well. So, I think this was the best one. And I'm pretty sure we nailed that. Not a diamond, he's actually just barely into the weight range where they can get the, like, potential diamond horns, but... Lung liver at 370 meters, not too bad. So I don't think he's actually going to make it to his drink zone, because he's going to end up directly downwind of us, but... Kind of ended up here waiting. Since, uh, I think this guy's drink zone started late. But, as far as I can tell... Now I do hear another lion. I thought that was maybe the only one coming in, but maybe we should wait a little longer just in case. Well, that's a slight improvement, actually, so we'll see if we can get him, too. I think that'll be quite effective, so pretty decent first stop for Lion. So we got a silver for that one, and the seven's definitely going to be a gold. I actually hear another Lion. I'm not sure if it's maybe going to use, like, the zones that are over here. Or if it's just like coming in from that side, but we'll probably sit and wait just because. Well, for one, there's that, but I think that's the small horn, so I'm pretty sure there's no chance. But we'll kind of take our time getting over there to get in range to take a shot at that, and hopefully then we can see what the other line is. But that's a decent level seven uh, gold. Yeah, I'm pretty sure those are the same horns as that level four we shot, so. He shouldn't really have any chance. But actually, I never did see the lion, which is kind of odd. But, I don't know. Maybe we'll find it. 
But as expected, this dude literally never had a chance. Definitely the small horns, but there was a female uh, lion track back there, so my guess is that that's what I heard. So I think we're going to try maybe going down to this lake. This is where I got my blonde lion on the new system. So small change of plans, the game crashed on me, but I got another server and it's actually like early lion drink time still, so we kind of can pick up where we left off. Ooh, that's a big one. That's the Bighorn level 5 spring bug. I've been after one of those for a while. Kind of cool to see that, just heading over to the, uh, this lake here for lions. I've kind of changed my path lately because we're actually out of their render now, but you can see Cape Buffalo where they feed up here. So I've started coming from this outpost and going a little closer to this lake, and because of that, I spooked these springbuck, which normally I wouldn't have seen. They'd have been down, like, over the hill, because usually I go closer to this road. And I can't say I've actually figured out what zone springbuck are usually in. I don't tend to see them on my way through here, but I hope he's going to come back, because I would love to get the bighorns one. We have that... A uh, troll one we kill with the bow. So then we could have both like horn styles, the big and the small horn, side by side there in the lodge. This is kind of concerning. This is our Springbucks track, and for some reason it thinks it's a rabbit track that I just. Hmm. Well, maybe they're coming back. It didn't seem like they were going to. Like, I sat there for quite a while, but. That's the direction they went, and that certainly seems to be a couple of them, so maybe he'll be here. That might have been the best luck ever, that that track kind of glitched out, because it made me stop back there, and I may well have spooked them just because of, like, where they were with the kind of terrain sloping down. But there's the one we're after. And hopefully I can just get him to stop. Man, I love the springbok. They, their horns, especially these big fives, look so cool. But I'm gonna get his attention. Ow, that scared me. Stop it! If I get killed by a springbok, that would be kind of stupid. Can you not be in my way, please? Yes, you. Why do you have to walk exactly in front of the one I'm trying to get? Okay. Now. If he'll just politely turn back. Actually... Probably could have got that. But I'm glad we waited. That was so much better. Gonna heal real quick just so we don't get smoked. And he landed really nicely. I think we made a heart shot, so. Well, might be a little bit more of his face buried than would otherwise like, but. At least from kind of this angle, looks pretty good. Alright. We know he's a diamond. Can't see any way that could have got messed up. And, wow, that's really weird. Whoa. I've never seen these horns below, like, 41 kilos before. And he is very, very close to the same trophy rating as the one we killed with the bow that, like, made diamond. And if I'm not mistaken, he's lighter. He may be lighter than a troll diamond. This is, for sure, the smallest I've ever seen these horns. That's kind of interesting, but... We'll take those all day. Now we have both horn styles. Dude, what the heck? Okay, so two things. Number one, this is like where I was going, and I just killed the spring buck. Number two, he was standing there broadside for so long and I couldn't spot him. <laughs> like, the female's in the way. So, usually once they kind of break free from that standing still fleeing state, They'll actually flee normally, and this is probably going to take a while. But I want to see if I can maybe steal a free broadside angle, but... Yeah, I don't know if I'm willing to go for that. If he was trotting at the same path as the female, that I'd go for, but... Too much of a risk going for it at that angle. I don't even know what I'd do with a, another diamond lion. Really, I just want a rare. Like a different rare. But... I don't know. Guess we'll kind of wait here. He is actually going more and more broadside the further up here, up there he gets, but I don't want to do that. Hopefully he'll either come back or maybe we can 
slowly sneak behind him like the spring buck and have him come back nicely. I think that's our lion right there, if I'm not mistaken. Complete luck that I just spotted him. I literally, these are his tracks right here. And I ran up to the side to see if I could maybe catch him walking up through here, but I think he's nervous drinking right there. So we're going to walk into about 150 and then just see if we can get the shot off with the 300 because he's just not in a good spot. I may actually have the collar, though. I have the jackrabbit collar. I think it is listed as a weapon that'll work for lions, but maybe we can just get a shot without it. Or maybe I just alerted him. He turned around, and honestly, the shot would be a lot easier. I don't actually know if that's him, but I'm assuming it is, and whatever it is is dead, so... Hopefully that's the one. Yeah, it is too, so that's crazy luck. Like, normally I probably wouldn't do that. I don't know what made me kind of veer off to the side to see if I could spot him, but kind of worked out nicely. And, of course, he is just a troll, 48.3, so 0.2 away, but yeah, still cool. The amount of troll legendary lions in Cape Buffalo I found lately is just insane. Like, over and over. Like, it's been so many. So, two trolls, an actual diamond, and quite possibly my favorite rare ever. I think that's going to be a pretty good place to leave this video, but we have this one to get rid of. That's the gold. And our new diamond springbuck there. That's just... They look so much better. I really like the bighorn springbuck. I think we'll probably do just like that. And already... Just days into its existence, we are going to be tearing down the new multi mount because this guy is going to go on the wall back there, and the albino just has to go here because it has to be in a full body platform. It just, it has to be. But that does mean we're going back to this pose because one of the ideas I kind of always had with this pose was to get like a smaller rare male. That guy's not exactly small, but smaller than the bighorn's diamond, I guess. It just sort of makes more sense that a younger one would get taken down by the lions, but I think that's really cool. I can't believe we found that. And then we get to rearrange this room and get our Bighorn's Diamond here in the middle. I just think that's so cool. You really get to see the difference there, too. Like, the extra mass that's packed onto those biggest horns is really, really nice, but this place is kind of quickly coming together. I guess that's what happens when you really start grinding the game, but I can't believe the luck. Just the specifically Cape Buffalo luck in the last, like, five, six days has just been unreal. But, yeah. Quite possibly my favorite rare ever, and it literally started the video. Like, it's gonna be the thumbnail and the first kill, so go figure. But, I think that's gonna do it for this video, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.